Hey guys, it's Scott from Let's Play Easy Mode, and today we're going to be diving in once again into the world of Minecraft. In easy mode, let your worries disappear. It doesn't matter who you are, all are welcome here. Come and take a load off, leave the world outside. In easy mode, sit back, kick back, cast your cares aside. Let's escape and play. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Easy Mode, where we love to escape and play. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're one of our regulars, then welcome back. Today, we are doing it. We're coming back to the world of Minecraft. When we started playing this before, um, I kind of threw it out there to you guys. I didn't know if this was going to be a game that would stick to the wall, so to say. Uh, so to speak for our community, but you guys overwhelmingly were very passionate about this game. And to be honest, I'm, I really enjoyed the game. I really had fun. All of my preconceived notions went out the door. Like I shared with you guys how I, I didn't know anything about it. And I got into it kind of, unfortunately based on the idea that I always thought it was just a, some kids game. And, and honestly, it didn't take long getting into it before I realized, oh, this is not just a kid's game. And it was actually mentioned in the comments, uh, it was a great way to put it, that Minecraft, I think, lends itself to a lot of younger kids because it's, it's a safe game, you know? And it's something parents can trust their kids to play, but it's really no more a kid's game, and I love the way this was phrased, than like the Nintendo Switch would be a kid's console. It lends itself to having a lot of games that kids can play, but there's all kinds of things for all ages to do with it. And honestly, one thing I've learned about Minecraft is you can play it just about any way that you want. I mean, there's so many different things that they've added to the game. So much so, if I'm being honest, I'm still not even sure what it really is I'm supposed to be doing besides just building things and survival. It seems like definitely a survival game. You know, you need to uh, chop trees down and, and do things to to build, you know, and, and create a life for yourself in that world. Um, I, I still don't know if there's necessarily, I don't know if there's a story here yet. I'm excited to see if there is one. Uh, if you follow me on this channel at all, you know I, that's, that's what draws me to games a lot is the storytelling aspect of video games. And I, so I'm curious to see uh, besides just kind of the silly funness of the game, uh, if, if there is a little, another story, I thought I saw somewhere there was a story mode or something for Minecraft. Maybe I'm wrong, I thought there was, but I will say, guys, thank you so much for your overwhelming response to the first video, just your love and, uh, and just the kind comments that a lot of you guys said really made me feel really good. And it made me feel really encouraged too, because I was a little, not embarrassed, but I was coming into it like, okay, I've never played this game before. And I'm going out on YouTube playing this game. And it's been around for 15 years. And it's like one of the, it's like a, a game that has been like the number one game for so many people. And I'm gonna get crucified out there if, by putting myself out there as some guy who's never played the game before. Uh, but you guys were awesome and I really appreciate that. And so much so uh, that I've been taking my notebook and so I started writing down some notes based on your comments. Actually, just now before, um, I went through all the comments on that first video and wrote down pieces of advice that you guys gave me uh, to be able to kind of help me in this episode. So really, I, I will tell you, um, this episode is still gonna be a lot of learning. I think I'm gonna be doing that in this game for a while, and I hope you guys are willing to bear with me while I do that, because I, I really, there's a few things uh, that I wanna do today uh, to, now that I've got a little bit of direction. So uh, I'm gonna build some stuff. I wanna, uh, I guess I, I, one thing I need to do is, is build a lot of those planks, the oak and birch planks, and make some sticks and tools and things I can use 
Um, so I'm really excited to do that and uh, and just all these other little things that you guys told me about like the saplings falling from the trees and because uh, I kept seeing those fall I was like they're like little trees falling didn't even think that that I could plant those to grow more trees so I can keep using that as a resource and it was really interesting to hear some of the things that you guys said about things that I can eventually develop like a garden and I gotta be mindful of putting a fence around the garden so the animals don't come in um, so here's what I'm planning on doing. Some of the, there were some comments uh, by people in our community who have just been following me in the community for a long time. So they've gotten to know me who recommended that maybe it's a good idea knowing me to maybe just for an episode or two uh, longer kind of stick around. Oops, I hit my microphone uh, to kind of stick around in peaceful mode just to keep learning the ropes peacefully. Um, but I will tell you, I'm not planning on staying there. I am gonna go back into easy mode. Um, I'm just gonna use peaceful just for a little bit, um, just to take my time and understand the crafting and the learning. And then we'll turn on the zombies and spiders and monsters and everything. Uh, Cause I, that is kind of fun. They, like having, you know, you gotta build your hideout. And uh, I know I can build some weapons that can probably help me fight as well. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I imagine there's a lot more that happens in the world when you do kind of up the difficulty a little bit. So uh, I'm not gonna be going hard by any means. That's not really what, what I'm about here, but uh, I will bring easy mode back. I just wanna use the peaceful mode. So I hope that doesn't deter anybody from watching the playthrough. I just really wanna learn the ropes a little bit and, and kinda discover the game this way, kind of ease my way into it. And then uh, probably after this episode or maybe the next episode, um, we'll turn the easy mode back on and start getting all the monsters out at night and start playing that way. But I just want time to just take my time with it and discover what it, all of this stuff does. So really, this is kind of a learning episode. I hope I don't bore anybody, uh, but I'm excited to take the notes I've given, uh, been given from you guys and implement these in today's video and try to kind of learn a little bit more about the, the language of the game, the psychology of the game, and, uh, and, and just enjoy the game with you guys and, uh, and see where this playthrough takes us. I have no idea. I, don't, I still don't exactly know what the game is. I, I'm loving it. I just don't know, like, are, are there gonna be surprises? I mean, in the last episode, there was a guy with a couple of like llamas or, or camels or something who showed up who was never really interacted with me. And then some of you guys, I wondered if it was like a multiplayer gaming thing and you guys said it was just an NPC. Um, but anyway, uh, so I don't know. I don't know. Will there be story characters? I don't know. If you communicate with people, is it all just waving? Or will people be like actually like little bubble text or something like that? I, I don't know. But one thing I, I, I will say, I really had a good time with just the fact that I think this is a game that uh, so many people in our community and not just within the easy mode community, but people outside of it who are coming in and discovering us for the first time. Uh, I think this is really a neat game that can kind of bring everybody together. And I saw names in the comments that I have absolutely missed. I, I will tell you guys, if you know, I'm a big softy and I, I kind of wear my emotions on my sleeve. And the people on this channel who watch me mean a lot to me. And I saw some names in the comments I haven't seen in a while come back. And it just feels good to have people come home. And it was really neat to see people in our community who really love this game come back to watch this series. And uh, man, I actually, I actually got tearful reading through the comments because it got me so excited that we have something to do as a community that everybody enjoys like Minecraft. And I, I know I'm all ready. Just you guys make the game better for me. I'm enjoying the game just for what it is, but what makes it even better is you. So thank you so much for that. And I'm excited to dive into this. I'm gonna quit rambling. Uh, I'm trying to shorten my intros now. I do tend to ramble a little bit and I'm trying to shorten my intros, but I'm just so excited about this series. And uh, I hope you guys are too. Do me a favor, uh, drop a like on this video to share your love. Uh, also talk about it in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more content. That really helps the channel. 
hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. And if you'd like to support what you see here, if you're enjoying the vibe of the channel and you'd like to get access to uh, early content so you don't have to wait for these videos to hit YouTube and you want uh, exclusive content, because we actually have a lot of games that are Patreon only games, you can check that out. And we have a Wednesday night live stream that we do as a community over there. Then do hop on over to Patreon, check things out. There's a lot over there. You can get free merchandise for signing up. Uh, so definitely check that out. You can do that by going to this link right here. Uh, special thanks going out to our current list of patrons. Guys, thank you so much for your continued support. I really love you and I appreciate you so much because you guys really kind of help the wheels to turn here. You guys help it uh, keep moving. If you're out there and you would like to get shout outs in every single video as well as get access to all those things I was just talking about, uh, then make sure to get signed up at Patreon today. All right, I'm gonna quit talking. Let's go ahead and dive back in. Let's escape and play and dive into the world of Minecraft. Okay guys, we are diving back into the world of Minecraft and uh, we're, we're in Easy Village here. Now I'm loading up, it, it did do quick resume. And uh, okay, so I just need to go here, I guess. It's a good, oh, use the right tool for the job, yeah. So like you guys were telling me Hey, look, we're, there's my house. I'm in my house. And now I, I we should still be in an easier mode. Uh, so one thing you guys were telling me is that I need to build planks. Now, you guys were telling me I need to build um, oak and birch planks. And I can make sticks. And I can use my craft table. That's something I haven't done. And I will admit, nobody actually said how to use the craft table. Um, this is this is my craft table. And it kind of makes me wonder, I don't know, I, like, I don't see anything that says, oh, there it is. Oh my word, you click left stick. Okay, so, and you guys were telling me that, um, I think actually I think it was Regorith that mentioned in the craft menu uh, that the inventory was on the right because I was reading it kind of the wrong way. And uh, so we have that, and then these things on this side are what I can build. And here's, oh, look, I can build oak planks. So let's do that now. Uh, craft. Okay, that gives us a good amount. And now I can go get more birch planks too. But it now, look at this. Now it looks like I can build these other things because of the planks I just did. Is this the, I can build a door. Ooh, look at that, birch door. I can, oh no, I don't have a, a I, the red, the red means I can't build it. So, is he, are these oak stairs? Oak slab? Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Oak trap door. Now that would be fun to build a house that's like off the ground and it has like a basement and then the stairs go up to it. Guys, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. Uh, but right now, I'm just gonna build a door. Okay, now I have a door. Wait, do I have three doors? Is that what it's telling me? Oops, I gotta remember, okay. Okay, so um, how do I? No, I don't want to do that. That's I'm using my door. I gotta place it. Nope. Nope. Sorry, guys. I'm I'm already forgetting. Oh no. Um, okay, there it is. I got it. so. Uh, how do I get out? Um, use. Oh, cool. Do I need to close it to make sure zombies don't get in it? Look, I have a door. How awesome is that? Okay, so. <laughs> it's so crazy how this game has made me so happy. Um, now, another thing um, that was you guys were talking about is how you can make uh, you need wool to make certain things. 
And it got me wondering if, like I saw sheep in this and it made me wonder, you don't have to kill the sheep, do you? Like, can you, I could just, um, you know what? I want to put a door here. Um, I want to, cause now I've got, oops, I, it's going to take me a while. Sorry. Um, okay. There we go. <laughs> Remember, left trigger is my uh, my my go to tends to be to hit the A button to interact with things because that's what I'm used to in games. I got some light in here now. You guys were also talking about torches and things like that. Man, I I almost want to put a window right here just so I can see out when I'm doing that. There we go. Now I'm I'm going to assume that I can build a window here eventually. Um now you guys said I need to build sticks. And okay, so let me see this. I think it was uh Demon or Diamond, it was Diamond that was saying uh, um Okay, I can uh sticks uh then okay, so I use oak and birch planks to make sticks and then um I can use use the sticks to build. Oh, look, I have some. I do have some already. And I can use those sticks to make tools. So let's take a look at what we can make. Oh, look at that. We can make those now. I can make a sword. So cool. All right, let's do, oh, okay, I see. Let's let's use um, a wooden ax. There we go. And I can also use, ooh, a hoe, a sword. Okay, I can make more swords. Now, Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I don't know if I need to close my door there. but Now, this is, I, I told you guys in the last episode that I've seen the toys at GameStop. And um, oh, look at that. I'm getting the flowers again. So now I want to, oh, look at that. Time to strike. Use planks and sticks to make a sword. Awesome. So I wonder... I was starting to say sorry. I've got a million thoughts in my head because I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, oh, I got to be careful of the bees too. You guys told me that with the bees, when I see that their eyes, that they're when they're when they're black-eyed bees, I really want to say black-eyed peas. But when they're black, the black-eyed bee uh, uh, bees, they're like a parody band. Uh, when the black-eyed bees, um, they're 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 peaceful. But then when their eyes are red, they're angry. I was starting to say that I've seen the, the uh... okay, that's a little quicker. Um, you guys were, uh, or I was telling you guys, I've seen the toys for Minecraft in, uh, in the stores before. That's a sapling. Now, how do I plant a sapling? Oops. Seeds. I bet that's it right there, right? Do I? Okay. I want. Uh. Nope, I fell in. Trying to see how I would plant the seed. Maybe I could replace the tree. Um, I don't know. Oh wait, maybe I'm doing the wrong thing. Birch sapling. Maybe that's what I need. Let me um. Quick move. 
And let's try that. Okay. <gasps> Place. Nice. Now, I wonder if I need to cover it with dirt or can I just leave it there? Let's see what happens. Okay, let's get back to my wooden axe. Hey, there's so-and-so. What are we gonna name them? That definitely works a lot quicker. <laughs> Looks like a fluorescent light bulb up there, doesn't it? Like it, it's like the Truman Show. We're, we're, we're actually realized that we're just in a really large room. If you look straight up, that just looks like a, like like a maybe we're actually under like a hung ceiling, and it's one of those square lights or something. All right, um, let me. Hi, little bunny. Oh, I think he pooped. Did you see that? He had like a little brown thing that came out. I think he got scared and he pooped. <laughs> okay. Oh, it says peel bark. So maybe we need the bark for something too. New recipe unlocked. Okay. Should, I'm wondering if... I should always peel the bark. Let's try it. Now you guys told me that my, oh, this works so much quicker, wow. I'm gonna make some more sticks. Probably good for uh... Oh, there it broke. So I do need to make more. Alright. Where'd my house go? Over there. That is a kind of an ugly house. Like from a distance, where it has the birch mixed in with the oak, from a distance, it looks like a house under construction. You know, like where they, you see all that, like I don't even know what they call that, but it's like that covering tape or whatever that's like over the house when you drive by a house and you're like, here's me driving in my car, I'm going along and you drive past this house and you're like, oh look, they're building a new home over there. You know, like that's, that's what it reminds me of. I gotta build a new pickaxe. It's gonna take me a while to get used to using that left trigger. But you know what's gonna happen is, uh, I'm a, uh, oops, there we go, I see. Um, what's gonna happen is, I'm going to uh, start getting so used to the left trigger playing this game, I'm gonna start using it in other games now. I'm like, what do you mean it's not working? Okay, so we have that. Oh, wow. There's a lot we need there. Uh, can I make some sticks? Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That's where they are. And crap. There. Okay, campfire. Now, one thing I do want to make, and I'll go... Um, okay, let's... Hmm. Let me get rid of the poppies for a minute. Not sure what those are for. Kind of don't need the door. Can you just get rid of something? Okay. In case I need to build something or need food. Um. Okay, let me... Uh... Oh, oh, wait, I... Need a tool. So what I wanted to do. Oh, I still don't have enough. I need this is oak planks. We need to make more oak planks. Okay. But look at this. We can make a lot of them. Wow. 
we'll just do it. Why not? Because you guys said I need I need a lot. Um, and what's this? Sandstone. Okay. Look at the doors we can make. Trap door. Here's something interesting. Do I need? Do I need to actually elevate my house, or could I? I guess I could dig into the ground, right? And build a shovel and then just dig a basement down and and build a foundation that way. Also, I see here we have mangrove boat, cherry boat, bamboo raft. So that's going to make swimming around the area. Oak sign. Let people know I live here. A chest for inventory. Okay, that makes sense to me. Uh, paper, in case we need to take more notes in the comments, we can we can have paper. Um, let's see. I'm gonna build a chest, and I'm gonna put a chest right here, because I'm gonna assume that I can. Yep, I can store stuff. Okay. Um, let's do that. I'll keep my sticks. Um, so much to learn, but I still don't know what the pressure plate is for. Like in my head, I'm thinking pressure plate is like a, that causes, wait a minute. I saw that I could build a trap door. That's what that's for. The trap door isn't for me to build like a secret passageway. The trap door is for uh, maybe like if zombies come and they, they step on the pressure plate, they fall in. That's awesome. That is so much fun. Okay. So, so now I've got that. Now let me build um, with my sticks. Now I can build more tools. I can build a lot of swords, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a pickaxe. Okay, I'm gonna build a wooden shovel to help with digging. And I might as well just build the hoe. And now I've got all of those tools and weapons. So, that's awesome. Oh, it's dark. I need a bed. Did I, did I see I could build a bed? Oh, what I got? More more tools. Construct one type of each tool. Nice. Oak button. I wonder what those are for. Is there? Oh, look at that. Guys, time to farm. Make a hoe. Oh, this is awesome. I'm getting all kinds of um, cool, cool stuff. Okay. Um, I wonder if this helps. Does this tell me what each thing is? It's just all, okay. That's <laughs> so cool. All right. I ain't gonna lie, I'm digging it. This is very relaxing to me. I hope it's relaxing for you guys too. Um, man, I sure made a mistake putting this game in a box all these years, just looking at it going, ah, that's kid stuff. You know, I just didn't know, guys. I just didn't know it was this cool. Okay. So now, let's go out and, uh, oh, I got to build a torch. You guys told me, um, let's see, where is it? I can make a torch with sticks and either coal or charcoal. Coal is mined and charcoal is made in a furnace which is made with eight stones, but I can go get the stones now um, because, oops, I gotta stop doing that. Um, I can use my pickaxe and go mine some stone. Oh, hi there, new recipe unlocked. 
I, I'm not want to hurt you. I just want to see what you're good for. He's a duck. Hi, duck. I don't want to mine him. Hi. Oh, hello. Um. I'm waving. <laughs> I, I forget. How do I? Nope. Okay, that's crawl. I was trying to see how I go back in the third person view. Nope. Nope. <laughs> um, oh, what is it? How do I do this? Nope, not that. Well, we'll figure it out. I ain't gonna lie, guys. It is much more relaxing on peaceful mode. Just being able to kind of get a little lay of the land here. Oh, I got my egg. Hey, let's let's get some. Oh, let's get some birch. Cause I want to build that birch door. It looked pretty awesome. If I'm gonna take some time, I I, I gotta think there's some merit in the idea of building multiple axes. So if you know you're going out specifically to go mining. then uh, that way you can just go do it. And not have to keep going back and building more. Oh yeah, and the peeling of the bark. Oh, there it is. Hard to see there in the dark. I need to build a torch. So let me go do what I said I was going to go do. Let's go see if there's stone around here. I remember there was stone. Oh, yeah, over where I, you see the light over there? There was some stone there because the straight ahead, that's where the lava was. I'm going to mine this. Okay, I got to admit something as well. Um, I actually really enjoy the sound effects in this game. You know how, like, I've never done this. Maybe you guys do it. Um, I've never been one for, like, ASMR videos. Uh, I will admit, the first time I saw some, like, girl on a video, like, eating pudding and, like, crinkling cellophane and going, here you go. Does this make you feel more relaxed? I'm like, no. Um, and maybe that works for some people. And I'm so happy you have that to, to you know, and, I, and, and maybe I just need to give it a chance. But for some reason, it's the warm sound of this. Uh, oh no, that's higher. I need a tree. This thumpy thumpy sound is kind of enjoyable over here. Here we go. This sound. I love it. Like it's not shrill or anything like that. And it's kind of nice and relaxing to me. <laughs> it's so weird. I like, that's my new favorite video game sound is mining trees. Now I'm really curious to try this pickaxe on the stone and I need to be weary though of the lava you guys are telling me that I can lose my inventory if I'm not careful whoa okay I wonder if Oh no. Okay, I see. Oops. 
Okay, there is lava down there. Got to be careful. Got to find more stone. Am I, is it collecting it? It's hard to tell, let's see. Okay, there's the birch. And I am getting cobblestone, okay. I wanted to make sure it wasn't all just falling. There. There we go. Cause see, sometimes it's like, it, I, I can't tell why unless, <laughs> Unless it works like the, the sapling does. I can't tell why sometimes it breaks apart and then other times it leaves like a little cube behind. I'm still trying to figure that out. Um, see, I've only got four cobblestone, so I feel like that's actually what's happening is when I, when I get the cube, that's actually adding to my inventory. So I'm not really sure. There we go. See, that's why I lost it. See, I don't think I got it. No, I didn't. So there's, there's gotta be a good way, a good technique. Let me know in the comments, what, what's a good way in this case for me to be able to get this? Okay, that, that works great. Cause I know the, I don't want to lose my inventory cause of the lava. Hmm. I need, I think you guys said I need, oh yeah, here it is right here. So if I want to make a furnace, I need eight stone. I'm assuming you, you mean cobblestone. Hi. Hi little bunny. There's so much I want to do here. Uh, let me get my uh, wooden axe. There we go. I'm assuming that there's no limit to inventory. There we go. There's so much, it, it's tough because, not tough, but it, it's, uh, I start getting in my mind, this is a squirrel game. And what I mean by that, you guys have been following me for a while will know what I mean when I say, it, it's like that concept of squirrel. I squirrel out on video games sometimes. This is the kind of game where I, I have a mission in mind and, and then all of a sudden I'm like squirrel and then, you know, I'm like, ooh, I wanna thump a tree over here again, you know? Thump, 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 thump. I love the pitter patter sound of it. Okay, I'm gonna go build a, a, a wooden ax again. Oops, wrong button. I've been playing Fallout 3 on the channel. And uh, the thing about that is that I, um, you in that you jump with the Y button. So I'm getting all mixed up, all turned around here. Shovel. How fast does this work? Really fast. Oh, I like this. This is how we get the stone, guys. Okay. So if I go like that, there we go. Um, oh, I, re I see the, the, the green. the health bar of each weapon at the bottom too. Um, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That rabbit's checking me out. Hi there, buddy. I'm waving. How did I do that before? Oh no. 
I just realized how I drop a weapon. Oh yeah, right there. Oh, there it is. Hi. Hello. I kind of like the third person too. Run, run, run. Let's go back and... Oh wait, how, what do I have? I have nine, co I can make a furnace now. Let's make a furnace and then I can make charcoal. And then uh, make torches. I wonder if I can hang a torch at the house to light it up. Okay, so that's just different camera angles. That's cool. All right. Um stone sword <gasps> oh i like that and it was also mentioned um that it probably would be best to get to the point it says um i think this was daimon who said this make stone tools always use stone tools to mine otherwise you can destroy blocks instead of mining interesting so if i use the stone I would assume that the stone also lasts longer. So maybe I'll do that. Well, you know what, let's make a furnace. Let's make a furnace. Let's start with that. Furnace, there we go. Now I can open the furnace and coal. Wow, okay. Do I put coal in? I think I need a recipe first, don't I? Hot topic. Construct a furnace out of eight cobblestone blocks. Okay. Let's see, I have coal it looks like. I wonder, I must have gotten it somehow when I was over by the lava. Okay. All right, pardon me one second. There, I'm back. I take a little uh, personal time there for a minute. And I also grab a, a Moxie. Let me crack this open. For those of you who don't know what Moxie is, it's my favorite soft drink. Uh, I am not endorsed by Moxie, but I am originally from Maine. And Moxie is a soda that was uh, big in Maine, still is, huge with the locals. Uh, Moxie's one of those sodas that is very polarizing. Either you love it or you hate it. Hello, cow. Can I milk the cow? Am I gonna need, is it that kind of survival game? I need to milk the cow. No. Oh, he mooed at me, hi. Can we, can we be friends? I think so. He's a peaceful cow. Maybe on easy mode, he's not a peaceful cow. Maybe he's, uh, you know, different. Okay. So I need to make, how do I make charcoal? I've got coal. I don't know how to make charcoal. It might be in my recipes. Let's see. Um, let's go into crafting recipe book. No. Yes. Wait a minute. I'm hitting the, okay. Okay, I got confused again, guys. I got confused again. Okay. Click open recipe book. All right. It's possible I just don't I have it yet. I see, oh, there's coal. Maybe I don't have the recipe yet. Nope. No, I'm a little, I'm, oh, I'm clicking around. I'm getting lost again. Hold up. 
so if I go in this, the furnace, okay. Furnace. Is this what I have in the fur, in the furnace? Okay, okay, I see, okay. So do you take coal and something else? And make it? It looks like it, you need fire. How do I turn my furnace on? A stick, stick I bet, watch, 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 okay. Watch, I bet I put coal and then, and does that work? And then I get out and then I, nope. Nope, that's not working. Okay. I guess I'll need you guys to help me out or I can look it up online. How about on this side, can I? I do need to make another wooden ax, but I wanna make, there we go. I also don't need this egg. Let's put my egg away. Quick move my egg and my apple for now. Okay. Now, um, I'm gonna continue chopping a few trees down, but now I wanna get the stone. Plus I need that torch. I need to build a torch. I need to figure out how to do that. Let's go back to this. I wanna get stone weapons. That's what you guys said to do. It was a good start to go make stone tools and go do that. And then I need to make the torch with sticks and, oh yeah, that's what it says. Make torch with sticks and either, you know what? I probably could have just taken the coal that was inside. I know what I'm doing. I, no I don't, I never know what I'm doing, but I I should have taken the coal that I, I saw and instead of putting it in the furnace, taking coal and sticks and put it over, see if I can use that uh, just at the craft bench, craft table. Oops, there we go. The pickaxe lasts a little while. Okay, let's use the shovel. Ah, wrong button. Let's use the shovel. Oh no. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll get you two. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, look at this. Ah, I keep doing that, guys. I keep using the left and right on the D-pad to try to select my stuff. I'm just trying to pave a way here to get to the stone. You guys were saying I could use the dirt to have built myself like a little dirt house. That's so great that you can do that from a distance. Um, shovel it's almost out okay oh did I lose it I, I may have lost it uh, I got three cobblestone I guess what's that does that show me 
Ah, what's it doing? Okay, show craftable? No. I don't know what that is. What's that switch do, anyway? Oh, well. So I gotta figure out how to get to more stone. So I wanna make stone stuff. But I wonder if I can build one of those boats and easily navigate to the other island where there's stone. Look at this, this is so much fun. Um, I'm trying to see if there's any more. Okay. Um, all right. have a lot of dirt. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I was going after the dirt with uh, my pickaxe and I broke my pickaxe. Hang on. Now we need to go all the way back. Okay. Uh, it's going to take me a little while, I think, to... Um, to remember what I'm doing, to um, get a handle on it. Like I said, I, I use this term a lot on the channel, but I've come to realize just how, hi, Mr. Turtle, how every uh, game has its own lingo, language, and psychology. And um, once you learn that psychology, you, you can think about, like when you're playing the game, you're thinking about how you should, you know, go about things. I'm still very much in this like infantile trying to figure out how to do stuff. Oh look, okay, now I can get I can build that. Let's build that. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Nice. Oh, and also, okay. So, go here. Move. This is my regular inventory though, right? So shouldn't I, in theory, I can bake a cake. Um, shouldn't I, in theory, be able to make a torch if I have a, unless you, uh, maybe I don't have the recipe for it yet. Lever. Oh, getting an upgrade. Construct a better pickaxe. Nice. Let me see what one of these. Oh, look, there's a torch right there. Got it. Okay. I got four of those. Can I, um, like put one in here to light the way? No, that's awesome. That is awesome. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. And yep, that lights it up. And you know, I think you guys said that in, in the comments, as I remember, I didn't write this one down, but I think it's light will chase the monsters away a little bit. So, you know what? Let's um let's put them right there. Put it right by the door. How about that? Nice. Whoa. 
Is it just showing? Okay, the fire keeps coming in and out. I'm assuming that's just graphically how it's showing me that there is a fire. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, campfire. Okay, so I got the birch. I just need sticks and coal. Where do I get the coal? Oh, coal is mined, it said, but I'm assuming... It didn't, uh, the comment didn't say where the coal was mined, so I'm assuming I got the coal over where the lava was. Maybe by breaking those, um, those stone over there. Some of this I can put in my, I have a feeling I'm going to be filling these chests up pretty quickly. Uh, seeds. I don't know what kind of seeds those were, but. Okay. Might need a new shovel soon too. Okay, so we're at a good start now. We've got torches and we've got, uh, we need to make charcoal, but I'm not sure how to make charcoal. It says to make, it's made in the furnace, but I don't know to make charcoal what you use. But now when it's dark out, we got this. What else can I make here? Um, okay, we, so we got the weapons. I really want this nice stone sword. I bet that would be good. And a, a cake. <laughs> um, the cake is a lie. Okay, so we have a furnace, a smoker. Like, if we want to smoke a turkey kind of thing? Okay, you can... A block of coal. That's what we need. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Paper. I wonder what you use paper for besides writing notes. Oak sign. That's kind of cool. Okay, so I, I can't make a boat yet. What do I need? Spruce boat. I, oh, I can make this boat. An oak boat. Oak boat. Let's do it. And now... We can go over there. To some other island. This is awesome. Okay. I wonder if we can build a pier. Mr. Turtle, do you want to go on a boat ride? Uh, do I just get down? How do I get my boat? Nope. I wonder how you put the boat in the water. My house is so ugly. Um, maybe over here. This looks like a good place for putting a boat. Oops. There we go. Doesn't this look like a good landing for a boat? Do I just... No. Come back. Did I get it? I got it. But how do I... Um... I have an oak boat. I wonder if I need to build oars. Probably not. Or maybe so. Hi there. Is that a pig? Hey, Mr. Pig. Hi. Oh, we got sheep. This is probably where I get my wool from. Do you have to kill the sheep to get the wool? There's so many cute animals here. I don't want to kill them. Hey, what's up, buddy? It's nice to see you, too. Can I pet him? I wave. Um, the TARDIS is waving. But how... So how do I get the boat, guys? There must be a way to do this. Oak boat. 
Maybe you do need to build a pier. I don't know. Is it because it's not giving me an option? Hey, there's that dinosaur. We were talking about him in the last, and it's the, the way the trees look. It looks like a big green dinosaur. Stay away from these piranha looking like fish here. I, I wonder if we can eat the fish. Well, I can't figure out how to drop this boat. But we're going to go exploring over here. See if we can get some stone. Actually. That stone over here? It looks like a different kind of dirt. See how there's a different color here? I think that's actually stone. Is it? What'd I get? Oh, it might just be more sand. Oh, stripped oak log. I don't know. It's nighttime though, so I think we found a new place we're going camping for the night. Oh, look at that. Look at some birch. I'm I'm peeling the bark. I don't know if that is a good thing. I also have the box in the top right corner. You guys can't see because it's behind where I am, but it's, it's popping up. I don't know if it's just saying like, hey, you're adding to your inventory or whatever, but. Like if I do that first, new recipe, okay. Let's go see if we can find stone. Guys, I think we found it. Is that what this is, or is this sand? This is sand. There's so many trees here, though. All right. over here it's like a certain type of flower is that sand or stone I think that's sand <laughs> um what is that straight ahead okay do you see where my cursor is I can't tell what this is in the distance, but dang it, it looks a lot like a house. Guys, is that a house? Is that a house? Oh my gosh. We've got we've got an abundance of stone. Guys, that's a house. But does that belong to someone?
the music just changed too. It sounds like a UFO is about to land. Is that what that is up here or is that the moon? That's no moon. It's a space station. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're getting some of this. Oh, this is great. Oh yeah. We got all kinds of stone. I don't know how exciting this is to watch, but guys, thank you. If you've stuck around, you've been just watching me learn the ropes here. Please know I really appreciate you guys and all your comments and the way that you guys have helped me through this. I wonder, is there a map? That's a, ter a dumb time to ask because you would think I would have done that by now, but is there a map? Um. Oh, look, invite to game. So where this is, uh, I've been thinking of doing some live streams. So I guess invite to game, I can maybe invite people to play with me on a live stream. Wow. Guys, I'm just not going to be in need of stone now. We got so much. Honestly, I'm now that I'm exploring, I'm totally fine like that we have the house there, but now that I'm starting to get a better feel for this, I'm totally fine just You know, like finding a better place now. Like this is really nice over here, but this already has a home. Guys, that's a home, that's a house. Still gotta figure out why I can't. 64 cobblestone, that is great. Let's keep it going. There we go. Now we're not gonna need cobblestone for a little while, hopefully. Okay. We were like, massive cobblestone resource here. I wanna visit this house. This is like a whole village over here. This isn't just one home. This is where I need to be. I'm a man of community. I love people. I love being around people. Now it's starting to make more sense. I was wondering like, why am I just way out here on my own? There's all these people here and I bet they don't have monsters coming out at night. Cause why would they choose to live here? That, this one right here, my cursor's on. Hang on. I'm getting like Bates Motel vibes from it. Like up here? I don't know. I'm getting like... This kind of reminds me of Bates Motel a little bit. <gasps> Look! We've got friends! Hello! Hi there! gosh they got windows and everything oh my gosh you can sleep sleep through this night respawn no way
bread? I mean, I'm stealing if I take that, right? So... Hi. Oh, we can trade? Okay, okay. Um... You can trade for food. That is so cool. And I, you know what? It just dawned on me. This is definitely a great place to go. Hi there. A cl cleric. All right. Stairs? Wow. I found the village! Mm. Oh, hi, Mr. Cat. And this is where they build their fences. Can I just live with these people? Do I have to build my own? Can I just... Okay, now we're talking. He's Look, he's got a pulpit. Is this where the... Uh, the minister lives. You know what's really great about this is this is just putting ideas in my head of the kind of thing that I can build now that I know what's possible. Oh, I love that house up on the hill. So great. Oh, I love it. Okay. I'm gonna go check the Bates Motel. The thing I said that set looks like the Bates Motel. It doesn't look like their base motel now, but it did. Open? Brewing stand, okay. Can make some of that Tennessee moonshine. <laughs> Up the ladder, okay, all the way to the top. So cool. Okay. How do I go back down? Huh. I can't figure out there. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, I thought I was falling to my death for a minute. Um, okay, how do you make these windows? Whoa. What is that over here? Is this corn? Am I gonna get in trouble for, no, it's hay. That's hay. It's barrels of hay. Gets a little hard to tell, guys, when it's so pixelated and block, uh, and, uh, and blocky. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's hay, because this is like a little farm area. What a neat village. I mean, it let me sleep in a bed. I don't see any reason why. Wait, are you taking a bath? Are you stuck? I can ride him. Oh, I can't get out now either. Uh, guys? What the heck? What am I gonna do? I got stuck in here. Oh, shoot. You know what I'm going to have to do? I, I feel bad doing this, but... Okay. There we go. Hi there. I wonder if any of these guys could tell me 
how to use my boat. Hi, kitty. Do we get pet cat cats? Hi. What a wonderful utopia this is. You got cats and cows. This is the place to build a house. And you know, it's funny because I'm seeing this now and I'm realizing, like looking at these house designs, it's helping me realize that you can, um, a leather cap. It's helping me realize like, oh yeah, I, I was building with wood, but you could probably build with just about anything. Like I have all this cobblestone. We can have a nice cobblestone house. I wanna stay with the community over here with all the animals and stuff. This is great. Yeah, because see how they've mixed cobblestone and wood. That is really neat. That gives me a lot to work with now. I still don't understand the recipe yet for glass, but I would be willing to bet that that um Sorry, I just had a blank. Um that happens to me sometimes. I walk in the room and I'm like, "Why did I walk in here?" Um I I would be willing to bet that uh glass has something to do with it and I was just now thinking, "Oh yeah, maybe I could just go to the craft table and just see is glass something there that I just didn't notice." What is that over there? Guys, there's so much exploration now. I thought it was going to start out and just be small on that little island we were on, but now I don't even want to go back to the house. What is this? The music changed. Maybe another day for that. This is beautiful. It feels safer, but it makes me wonder, like, do all the monsters still come out here at nighttime and eat the cats? And then all these people go in their homes and they know just don't go out at night. Oh, look at that, beautiful. Hello. Want a cracker? I love this. Guys, I love this. Oh, what's that? Is that a big cat? Or dog? <gasps> is that a dog? I think we got a dog! Hi! I want to pet you. I'll wave at you. Look at that. That's all sand, isn't it? Where do you even begin? Like you guys have taught me so far just some of the things that I can do. We haven't even like scraped anything off the iceberg yet. Oh my gosh, this is huge. Hi, sheep. I see it's very peaceful here, and I have the peace mode on. It makes me wonder, like, if you do have to kill sheep to get wool, which I think stinks, why can't you just shear them? But if you do, if I was to attack an animal here, would that cause all these people to come after me? Are these crates? What are these? 
What is that? This is how peaceful the music is. New recipe. I'm trying to be... For some reason, all this stuff is available to me right now, and I'm like, I don't want to use these people's resources up. They're all trying to live here. But I want to live here with them. What is that? Uh, pumpkin? Pumpkin? That was a pumpkin? What the heck, is that a panda? Guys, there's a panda. Hi, Mr. Panda! Do you have bamboo? Is that what these other tall trees are? They're tall bamboo trees. I like these lights. So I gotta figure out how to make windows. I wanna build my own house. But I think I want to do it in this little community right here. Because it's already got stuff established. And the thing I like about it is, um, is that I think I can use these now a little bit as a helpful guide to kind of show me what it is I can build. I'm, I love this. Well... Sleeping through the night. There. Um, I'll save and quit. But guys, this was really good today. Wow. And, and I wouldn't, honestly, just having your notes, I don't think I would have been able to do it without you guys. So thank you so much. And please don't hesitate. Keep commenting. Let me know more because I want to learn as much as I can. I want to do this. This is really a nice world to live in. It's really it, kind of relaxing for me. Um, I, now, I'm, I, I'm thinking the next episode, just for fun, I might take it off the peaceful mode. Now that I'm kind of seeing what I can do, I'd like to maybe I can sleep in one of these houses at night and... and uh, and then build a home around here. And uh, and then I don't have to feel like I'm off on an island somewhere by myself in a half-built building. Or maybe someday I can go back there, you know, and do that. Um, and like, re, you know, rebuild my house. But I really like it over here. Um, so anyway, uh, that's going to be the, the end for, of this episode. Well, okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you guys again. I, I Not to beat a dead horse here. Uh, I, I personally feel the horse is actually quite alive. So why would I beat a horse anyway? But thank you for these, these comments. And uh, I'm going to keep this notebook here. So as you guys are commenting, I'm going to be writing down what you tell me so I can use it to help me through uh, the game. And uh, just thank you so much for taking time to watch and, and kind of coach me through it. Uh, that was really fun just exploring. And I, I have a feeling it's, it's going to be kind of an endless world to do that with. And that's something I, I'm interested in doing. I'm Maybe this, this community here, this little group of buildings I found, I like it because it gives me a place I can put easy mode back on. And then if the monsters do come out, I got a place to just kind of sleep through the night and stay away from them anyway. Um, but now, you know, I have a, a good idea of, you know, build the craft table, the furnace, um, a cobblestone house. There's a ton of cobblestone in that island that's next to this one. I don't really know if any of them have names or anything like that, but I mean, I could probably just make it my own and do that. Uh, there's other people to live with and farm animals and things uh, we can plant, areas we can plant. There's definitely some open area to build a home here. And I like that, like I said, I can kind of, you know, sometimes when you're just left by yourself in a brand new game like this, you're, I can, I just don't know how to approach, how, you know, building a nice looking home. So I think having these other ones with the windows and the stairs and everything kind of gives me an idea like, okay, here's how you do it. Uh, so I'm excited to build a home here. I have a feeling there's probably a lot of you who just have homes on every island, you know, because it's fun to build them anyway. Anyway, 
Guys, thank you for watching this. I, I can use all the help you can give me, so please comment, comment, comment down below. Uh, let me know how I'm doing. And uh, if you have any suggestions or anything to look into, I think exploration is a big part of it because already just moving off that island and, okay, here's the thing. On that note, let me finish this thought and then go back to the other one. Um, I think it's so cool to be able to explore from island to island and see what there is. We just met new people. We're not alone. It's not like Subnautica where we're the only human, you know, in the world. It's, it's like we, we're, there's other people here to even trade and barter with. But on that thought, how, what am I doing wrong with my boat? I built the boat and I'm having a hard time getting it in the water. And I, I know that that could make sailing from one island to the other. I, I don't have to worry about getting attacked by sharks or anything like that, if there are any. But you know, also if I had a boat in the water, that would make life a little easier. And it makes me wonder, does the boat wear down over time? Because there are different boats that you can build made of different things. So it kind of makes me wonder like if they're all different quality boats. Um, but I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know how, what am I doing? Uh, do I need the dock to do that? Do I need to like build a dock for the boat and then the boat can be used that way? I don't know, but uh, guys, that was fun. Thank you so much for watching. Do me a favor, uh, drop a like on this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. You can come hang out with us at Discord. The link for that is down below. If you're enjoying what you're seeing and you don't wanna wait for the next episode uh, to hit YouTube, but you wanna catch it early when it hits Patreon first, uh, then make sure to hop on over to Patreon, which you can get to by going to this link right here. Guys, again, absolute, absolute joy and delight of mine to play this game with you share it with you and uh and and just i'm i can't believe after 15 years here i am like i was 30 when this game came out here i am 45 year old fart bad guy playing the minecraft for the very first time and loving it i never would you i never would have believed anybody i just i had all these terrible preconceived notions and I never would have believed anybody, you know, if they had said, no, 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 Minecraft's going to be like your jam come, you know, 2024. But uh, I'm having fun. I'm having a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, guys, let me know uh, your thoughts and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you on the next episode. But until then, take it easy. Let's play easy mode, let's escape and play.